Uh, ladies and gentlemen, a precious evening. Welcome to the Rogers Kakasungura YouTube channel. A big thank you to those who are supporting our channel. My work on this platform is to tell you what is happening in the Kenya's political arena, especially national politics. Kaka, it reaches a time when if you can't beat them, it will force you to join them. I have been telling you about the regard to Gashawa, William Ruto, and the Kenya Kwanza family. I have been telling you that if there is a man lost in the jungle, it is regarding Gashawa. Ali wachwa kitambo na William Ruto. And he has been searching deep in the forests. Amesaka metafuta na meona. This thing is not going to work. At the start, Rigiji alisema, Kenya Kwanza is a company with shareholders. And only those with shares, are going to benefit from this government. Wakati kasha wa metulia kidogo, akaona ruto, luo nyanza, akifungua mabarabara, akianzisha uhuru sijui 2MV, what? And he was like, guy father, what is this? Wabunge, wa Kenya kwanza, the likes of Lisivana Sosoro, started attacking Rigiji. Rigiji had reached a point that he is struggling alone in the Kenya Kwanza government. He has tried so much to push the limited company narrative. Ruto has refused to buy it. Members of parliament have refused to buy it. And anyone affiliated to Kenya, even from the central Kenya, has refused to be associated with the statement. Kenya, and I used to say, if you want to be a competent president, you must act and be seen as the face of national unity. Sio kusema ati yo, mimi ni president wa Kenya kwanza, ho, mimi ni deputy president wa zimio. That is none of our business. Now, now, Rigiji is asking for forgiveness. This is serious. This is serious. Rigiji is asking Kenyans for forgiveness. This is very serious. <laughs> yani u jamaa, amefikishwa mwisho na meona hakuna bere wala nyuma. The only thing is to surrender. Yani, Rigadi has been pushed to the wall to an extent. Ameinua mikono na amesema let the will of God be done. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Ruto differed with Gashawa on the limited company statement. Na hakasema, you know, kuna vitu zingine wa Kenya hamuelewi. Wakati nilifanya analysis Ya William Ruto's visit in Luo Nyanza, nilisema, Ruto has differed with Gashawa. Mukaanza kusema, oh, kaka wewe uelewi. Ruto alisema hii kwa sababu alikuwa, Ruto meant what he said in Luo Nyanza. That is why, Rigiji is now asking for forgiveness. Ile hai kwa siyasa. That statement was real, it wasn't uh, ignited by any political influence. Niliongea hapa. Mukaansa kuniambia kaka. Oh, iyo aliongea kwa sababu walikuwa kwa wajaluo. Oh, kaka wewe wele usiasa. Ruto. I told you ladies and gentlemen. Read between the lines and understand where Kenyan politics is headed to. Ile ambayo ni siyasa ni nawambia. Hapa wametuchaza karata. Mahali kuna ukweli, I tell you, kuna ukweli hapa. So Gashawa, 
is now withdrawing the company statement. He spoke yesterday at the Gulf Festival. And uh, this is what he said. Alisema, from where my boss William Ruto and I sit, the elections are over and we want all Kenyans to be united team for the development of this country. It's so serious when you get the Gatiga shower saying that. Mutu Amaya Mekwa Kisema, Kamo Kupia Serekari Tukura, Hakuna Kitu Tapata is now talking of national unity. Right? Is now speaking of national unity. Gashawa is finally admitting Kwamba politics is over. Mamba Yaguzema Raila Alifanya, Mamba Yaguzema Uru Alikula. That time is up. It is time to work for the citizens of this republic. Listen to what Gashawa is saying. Elections are over. An election is like a spot. And it shouldn't be taken beyond there. There should not be any enmity amongst us Kenyans. The president and I want everybody to speak the same language. So that when trade development without anybody looking down upon anyone. It is unnecessary and unhelpful because we all want to move in the same direction. Many people had us during the heavily contested election, but we opted not to pursue them after we clinched power. I am asking all the people of Mount Kenya to rally behind President Ruto's government. I will continue persuading the 30% of people from this region who voted for Azimio to support this government. Let nobody tell you that you are not of this government. You pay taxes. That is William Ruto who said in Luanyanza. This is the statement Ruto said. I love Wengi Mukasema. It was politics. It was a true statement. Deep from the heart. That is why Rigiji Ameruka Kamba na Amerudi Shemu ya Ruto sasa kusema kwamba all of us, we are Kenyans, Siasa Imeisha, we need to pursue one goal, uniting Kenyans, uniting our people. It's so serious when I hear Gashawa say this. So serious. It's so serious when Gashawa, who believed in a holding narrative, is now saying this. In short, Gashawa is technically apologizing to Kenyans that even if you never voted for this government, ni same kwa kusema kwamba serekari Ni a limited company. He is withdrawing the remarks and saying, this government is no longer a limited company. We all of us have an equal share. Kama rigijia mefikia this level. Then I'm telling you things are enormous. Things are elephant in the Kenya Kwanza government. Rigijia meona ataenda kubaki peke yake kwa wanja. Better akunje mukia, aungane na wengine. Or else, na badu akija muramba, Kita Muramba Tena. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.